that this is what the session was for for bringing in awareness is what already is mm, so it's just the mind can be more easy yeah can allow yeah. the flow in the body the this integration the thing, this new energy that we're stepping into things don't do the same bit there's not the same benefit as there was unless the awareness is complete so that amethyst was sitting there but she hadn't actually realized the awareness was not there that that was going to be helping her with her sleep so with this new energy that's coming in there's so much power but it only has power if there's awareness there mm -hmm. so this is why the hypnotherapy is so helpful we're just having somebody guide you is so helpful because it brings in that awareness that connection which brings it into the third dimension with an alignment it is what's needing to be done to anchor it into this air to help the air so these little things have to be done with an awareness which weren't necessarily done with an awareness before it would just be sitting there and it would just be like oh the crystal's doing its thing it's sitting there but the awareness of the specificity wasn't there before multitude of dimensions and of worlds the power is just way beyond human comprehension and that's what's happening now and that's why Alice's body is vibrating now because that inner awareness that connection is coming in knee what was that jaws that went through the left knee it was a reharmonizing on a molecular level and a point specific to the conversation. So it was happening in a multitude of dimensions all at the same time. And that concentration of the multitude of dimensions creates that feeling. It can actually be felt with an awareness. Yeah, and that led towards realigning the right shoulder again. What's the connection between the leg and the shoulder? What's that connection? It's a balancing. It's like a kind of, um, I don't know what you call the shape, like a, it's like a diamond, diamond, diamond geometrical crystalline form. And within that, there was two extremes on the crystalline connection. So it was just aligning the two different extremes from that crystalline grid. There's a connection between the right and the, the top right and the bottom left. It's like a diamond horizontal crystalline connection. So it was just a recalibration within that pyramid, within that crystalline pyramid. Mm -hmm. This natural healing is within that like a diamond crystalline grid structure. Mm -hmm. We each have our own healing grid structure. And the he healing is really just awareness. But it's very hard for humans to become aware on their own. They need to have some form of reflection or some form of communication with another, whether it's a plant or a human or an animal, but that communication is particularly important. And the human connection is the most valuable of them all because it's on the same vibration, the same understanding, the same grid structure. Plants and animals have healing structures as well, but they're in a different dimension to those of the human. So it's more beneficial for a human actually to spend time communicating with another human. And that also brings into awareness the grid structure. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So right now on my screen of Alison, I can see all these colors coming through, perhaps with the light. So is that- Well, it's a grid structure. <laughs> so it's the grid structure. <laughs> 
<laughs> so closing the eyes again. Wow. <laughs> wow. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad you showed me that. That's incredible, isn't it? That's what I was seeing. Uh -huh. oh, wow. wow. Mm. Is that just come in now? Yeah, as you were talking about it, it came in. Wow. <laughs> So I'd like to ask just to connect to myself and just because I've had something going on with my left knee as well on the inside, which has been a bit strange and different. Um, what, just during this talk or before? No, no, before, for the last little while. Felt just a little twinge on the inside of my left knee. Yeah, that's what I've been getting. Mm. So, so I think it's, that's moving forward and we are very connected. It feels like in some way we're sisters or have been sisters. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think we've been feeling, experiencing the same thing. Mm -hmm. We've been experiencing it within the same, that same structure. So that's the white crystalline grid structure that you can see there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're all connected within that, but separate, but we're connected. So the left knee is to do with moving forward. Mm -hmm. So we're both a little bit impatient about experiencing this world of 5D or 6D where we're in peace and harmony and joy. And it all feels pretty magical. Yeah. And then there's a little bit of impatience which both of us are experiencing and that's been represented in the fringes in the left knee. Mm. It's an impatience. So what's the advice for that then to counterbalance that impatient acceptance to be aware of the times when you have experienced patience and connect to those times and breathe in and breathe out those times of patience and within awareness practice patience within your daily life say or feel or do what is patience. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing in that I am patience, but not on a mind level, but on a physical level. Just maybe even setting an alarm or having a ritual at a certain time of the day and just focusing on I am patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 11 11 is quite a good time. Alison recently was on a meditation where they were bringing in an awareness globally for giving gratitude to the planet and for giving gratitude to all that are on the planet at 11, 11 a.m. every morning, bringing that in as a ritual. But that might be a good time also to bring in the I am patient. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I am gratitude for the planet. I am gratitude for the people of the planet. I am service of the planet. I am service of the people of the planet. And I am peace. And I am bringing in patience at this moment. My patience is my servitude to the earth and to the people of this planet. So just breathing in and breathing out within patience at 11 and 11 in the morning and knowing that just that minute patience out of the day, just that one minute is going to bring in patience for the self and patience for the planet, patience for all the light workers who are becoming so impatient. So it's bringing in that patience, which is so needed to sign. And the patience will bring in peace and harmony. It's such a vital element. And unfortunately, it's more and more becoming aware of the changes and becoming 
part of spiritual rituals and spiritual discussions. There is a heightened impatience because we want to experience it now. And that impatience is affecting the air, so it's even more important that we don't just mentalize the being patient, don't just meditate on being patient, but actually bring it into a practical application every day, 11, 11, bringing in that patience. I am patience. I am bringing my patience to the planet and to the people of the planet in servitude and in gratitude and alignment. And so it is. So it is. And just to give another word for patience, what's, what's another way of interpreting patience? Descriptive word or? Acceptance. Yeah, exactly. Acceptance. Acceptance of what is. Trusting that all is well. It's letting go of the judgment. It's letting go of judgment. Judgment of what it should be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's tune into that then. I was going to finish the session, but let's tune into that first and then we'll complete the session. Bring your hands on there. So is it right around the belly button? Yeah. Yeah, so I had that the other day, two days ago. So let's tune into that. I know I'm cutting out a little bit, but if you could just tune into the belly and just feel into that energy, what's that representing? What's that calling for, the attention? It's a stagnation, so it's a, it's a fear of not being able to be patient, fear of not being able to move forward, fear of being stuck. So it just needs to let go of all of these fears and judgments and just be aware of, just be aware of the awareness, be aware of the breath, be aware of the flow. You were the connection. We're the connection. Mm. Is that easing us? Mm. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank wow. you. <laughs> wow. That was a great session, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. And that was amazing in the room, the colors as you were talking about the crystalline. And then, and then it moved away. It just, just dissipated then as we moved on. <laughs> Incredible. <Yeah. laughs> so that magical energy. That, so that we... was in my mind's eye, that white. Yeah, wasn't that incredible? It's a shame we couldn't have taken a picture of that or videoed it or something, but I still remember it. 